Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up SEO on your Square online store and your Square website. Now SEO stands for search engine optimization and in this video I'm going to be showing you sort of like an SEO 101 when it comes to how to get set up with search engine optimization on your Square website, particularly your Square online store uh, where you can list and sell your Square products online as well on your online store and how to better rank in search engines and really just kind of like a general beginner's guide on how to get set up with doing that because I get that Square can have a little bit of a learning curve uh, and it can be hard to really get fully set up with Square properly uh, without making sure that you check off these steps. So I'm going to be showing you just an easy way to get started with SEO and how to properly mark things on your Square online store and website so you have the best chance of pulling in some extra search visitors as well, which can lead to just free additional traffic to your online store and help you get more sales on your Square online e-commerce store. Now, if you don't already have a Square account, of course, I do want to mention, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brenvaleski.com forward slash Square. We'll get you right here and set up and signed up with Square. Uh, so you can go ahead and follow along. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. Now, first things first, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Square on account and your um, Square Online account. Now, you do want to make sure that you actually have enabled Square Online, of course, before being able to actually get started with their SEO tools and things like that. Um, so you do need to make sure that you have the online sales channel available uh, on your Square dashboard. Now, I have a whole separate video going over step-by-step -step how to get signed up with Square Online. Uh, once you've done that, you should have this here, the sales channel uh, for online. Now, once you go here, that will take, once you click that button, it will take you here to the Square Online Store Editor. Uh, and once you have at least published a store, uh, you should see something like this. Now, I haven't really added much to this. Uh, this is just a very, very basic e-commerce template. Now, to actually get started with proper SEO for your Square Online Store, as you can see here, I haven't really added any information here, just Joe Schmo, uh, and it's a free e-commerce template, right? Uh, so what you're going to want to do is first go in and add an item. So we're going to be talking about SEO for site items which is essentially your products, right? Product SEO, uh, when you're going through and adding that e-commerce SEO to your online store. And later in the video, we'll get into specific other SEO settings that you might wanna make sure you have enabled for your Square online store. Uh, so first, you're gonna to wanna to add a site item. So all you have to do is click here under site items. Uh, and then this will bring you to the Square dashboard where you can add items and more specifically just products to your online store. Now, it can take a little bit to load as well. Um, and this is where all of your items will be added uh, on your Square account. Now, if you already have had a Square account for some time, you probably already do at least have some items on your Square site and your Square account. Uh, once it comes through here, we've loaded the items. Now, as you can see here, we have a couple sample beverages. That would be more for like a restaurant. But if you're running an e-commerce store and doing things with physical retail, you're probably gonna have things like shirts, right? So all you have to do is click create item and then you'll be prompted here uh, with this page where you can go in and then edit uh, a specific item, right? So this is a physical good. Uh, in this case, we have the name. Now, when you're going through and actually naming specific items, uh, you wanna make sure that you're very specific with the items that you add, as well as making sure that you've actually added it to your site as well. So you wanna make sure it's visible uh, on your site and you wanna make sure that it is indeed visible, available for purchase on all of the sales channels. So we have to make sure first and foremost, before we actually add any details, make sure that you have it visible, right? So this item will be added to one site and this is the Square Online Store site. Uh, we click visible and then it will be visible and available for purchase. That's the first step is actually making sure uh, that it's available for purchase. And now this is a physical good, a shirt. Now, when you're talking about SEO, you typically want to add more detailed descriptions than just shirt, right? Uh, if in this case, you may want to go with um, the color. So you could go like uh, black, uh, satin, uh, slim, maybe slim cut as well. Black, satin, slim cut uh, shirt. And then you could even say it's like an oversized fit or something like that. And that's just a lot more descriptive and it's gonna help you rank more in search engines is by adding that proper 
name to the actual product item. Uh, next, you could see if this is like a restaurant, right? That's not the case in this situation. Um, if you're going to be using retail, it does not really apply here in case of uh, if you have that. Um, we're going to go through here. Now, you can also add additional options such as size, color, material. Uh, if you do have specific items there, you can go ahead and add that there. Now, in terms of other SEO details that you want to go ahead and make sure you scroll all the way down here to search, we're going to go ahead and click edit. Uh, this is where you're going to be seeing the search engine optimization and customize how this is displayed on search engines. Now, by default, essentially, you'll have your, your store name, uh, which in this case, it's Joe Schmo is the brand name that I've selected here for this square online store and then as you can see here we have black satin slim cut shirt oversized fit and this is going to by default use the uh, title of your page now this is the seo title this is essentially also known as the h1 or heading one tag and this is what google will value as the most important piece of information when it comes to that page. Now, it will also take into account images if you add some images here as well. Uh, but this section here, so the SEO title is what is going to show in Google or other search engines such as Bing. Uh, then this SEO description is that little description underneath the title. Now, this isn't really as important nowadays in SEO, but it can be still a great place that you can also add some additional details, maybe some call to actions as well, like, hey, uh, click here or maybe some sort of uh, discount promotion type thing you're going on about uh, promoting or maybe just some of the extra material details that you could add here uh, to the SEO description. So um, it's not as important nowadays because typically this will be found in the product description information uh, and Google will then just use the item description by default. But I just want to show you this here. If you wanted to manually edit the SEO title or the SEO description that shows up in Google, this is where you mainly edit that. You can also edit the permalink. This is essentially the link that will be, uh, as you can see here, a permalink is a unique and customal seg customizable segment within the item URL, uh, hyphens, backslashes, uh, periods or underscores instead of spaces so that you can't have any spaces here. This is essentially what will show up in the URL uh, after the store name. Uh, and by default, it does just use the item name here, black satin slim cut shirt oversized fit. If you do want to trim that or maybe edit it at all, you can do that here manually. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click done because we don't really need to edit any of that information here. Uh, but if you do want to then add like a proper product description, this is something you can also opt to generate with AI. Um, if you want to, you know, generate something with AI. Now you can say, okay, uh, length is short uh, and we want to keep the tone professional. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click generate there. Now you could also opt to write something yourself, but this can kind of give you just at least something that's decent and then just insert it there. Uh, and it's pretty quick. So discover the perfect blend and seek design a comfortable fit. You know, you could also add some extra information there. Um, then this is where you can add your SEO image or, you know, not an SEO image, essentially just an image um, from your uh, computer. So if you have a proper uh, image here that you want to add, uh, we're just going to go ahead and add um, this image here. So maybe we have, we're just going to call this as the black satin shirt. Um, of course, that's not actually that material, but this is just a stock image that I have available here. Um, now, Google will take into account the actual image that is here. Um, now, they don't really have a whole lot of additional settings in terms of like adding extra descriptions to the image itself, uh, but I would recommend adding an image. Now, you can also add additional categories here if you want to select those. We're just going to go ahead and click save here. Once you're done editing the item settings, that is essentially the product and item for your online store. You've gone in and added the proper descriptive details. Of course, you want to add additional stock information or any additional variations or unit item details that you would maybe want to add as well. But that's essentially the basics here when it comes to product and item SEO. Be more descriptive and add more information there. Now, the next category that you want to make sure you have checked off your list is site categories. So this is the site and item categories that you have within your online store. Essentially, the uh, labels that you would put for specific types of items. In this case, if you had a shirt, you'd maybe then label them as the shirts category. Uh, so that would be under the items. And now we're under categories. Um, now to go ahead and add a category, all you have to do here is click 
click uh, create category. As you can see here, it can help customers navigate. Uh, and this is where you'd be more descriptive. So in this case, we're just gonna say shirts. Uh, now you can also add an image there if you want. Uh, you could make this a, a parent category. If you if you have a parent category to nest this underneath, you can select that there. Uh, channel visibility, of course, we're going to make sure that this is visible on the online store. We go ahead and add the items, and then all you have to do is click and add uh, the different items that you have. So click and add that item. And then this is the SEO section. Now, essentially categories can actually rank in Google as well. If you go with maybe some more specific and defined categories for your product niche, maybe if you're in the skincare space, maybe also add like uh, essential oil uh, body lotions or something as your category and then add all the different types of body lotions that you sell underneath that specific category. Uh, if we scroll down here to the bottom, we can go ahead and edit the same SEO details as we had before. And this is going to be the category name is just the category name by default. And same here with the SEO title. Now you could be more descriptive here. Uh, and this is maybe where you maybe add in some additional keywords. If you don't already have that in your SEO title for navigation, uh, this is where it can maybe help you if you add like shirt um, uh, maybe like, uh, 100, uh, percent cotton or something like that. You know, it could be something like that. Um, or like comfort fit, uh, style and sleek designs. I, I don't know. You could just call that as your general category information and maybe also type up an additional SEO description here. Uh, and then this information here is where you can add some keywords and maybe some additional information uh, for your category pages. And then it will essentially list all the different products uh, that you have for that given category. And it can just help with over not only just overall uh, links within your site, which is essentially the links to the other items and just for overall um, navigation of your site. So instead of having just all the products listed on the shop all, you actually have specific category pages uh, that then these products are nested under these items on your online store. So that's another section you wanna also consider. We're just gonna go ahead and click save there. Now, next in terms of other information when it comes to SEO, on your online store. You're gonna to wanna to make sure, of course, this is probably one of the most important aspects. Come over here to the left-hand side, click on website, and we're gonna go all the way down to SEO. Uh, and this is the more specific SEO settings for your online store uh, beyond just the product categories and uh, product items that you have. And this is very important that you have this information here added is to make sure that your uh, search engine visibility is actually enabled here uh, and you are visible to search engines. This can be a huge problem. Uh, if you have not actually added this, make sure you do not have this hidden from search engine results selected. Make sure you do not have that uh, clicked because then you will not rank and of course at all in search because uh, you will be blocking your site from search engines essentially. Uh, so that make sure that you have your site published uh, and you actually have this enabled. So this will show up in search engines. Uh, and this is the overall SEO for your homepage. Now you can also edit this here uh, if you wanna change out the information that's visible uh, for your site title. Maybe instead of home, you wanna say something else, um, like home of the best shirts. I don't know, something like that, right? You could be more descriptive than that. Maybe add some additional keywords that are relevant to your niche or category, um, but make sure you add and make sure that this is enabled here under search visibility. That's another important key area that you wanna make sure. Um, you can also link, uh, read through some of their best practices. They do also have some links here available to you as well. Uh, if you wanna make sure you're following those. Uh, and this also goes for social as well, just seeing the social preview of your online store and what it looks like. It's very similar to the SEO. You could also just mark it as to use the same as the SEO page title uh, and the SEO page description. But this is essentially what is going to show up in search engines. Uh, when you link to your store um, so that or in social search engines more or less or in social um, media pages when you link to it uh, and then this of course is process of improving your site's ranking in search engines is going to be through the homepage. make sure you have that added there and make sure you have that enabled here as visible 
to search engines. Now, one other thing you can also do uh, is utilize URL redirects. This is a more advanced search engine optimization tactic. If you are maybe changing pages or fixing some broken links from an SEO tool, this is where you would edit those information. Uh, that information, if you are going to maybe change the page URL, if you're going to permanently change it, make sure that you go in here and add those proper redirects. If you change the name of an item or if you change the name and then it affects the URL, URL of your page, you want to make sure that you fix that so you're not having all these broken links uh, across search engines and so that Google actually knows, oh, hey, this is where the updated uh, link is. Go in here. You can easily add redirects if you're redirecting from uh, one URL that's an old URL to the new URL. You can forward it here and it will notify search engines. That's where to add the redirect and it will also um, automatically do that for visitors on your site if they maybe have an old link and then they click it and then it takes them to the new and updated page. I uh, just want to show you that feature here as well. It is a pretty essential feature. It is kind of buried here inside the SEO tools, but their redirect tool can also be pretty essential to understanding when it comes to uh, Square SEO on your site. Now, uh, in terms of further optimizations, I would really say it really just comes down to adding more detailed uh, product titles and descriptions, as I showed you before under the site items, as well as adding maybe some additional uh, site categories. Um, and having some customer reviews can also be nice and, and other improvements just generally to uh, your search engine optimization and SEO. Um, you know, maybe do some other uh, PR or things. Getting links from other sites can also improve your overall SEO because it shows Google as like a vote of confidence that, hey, this is a real genuine site. Um, you can do that through maybe creating some blog articles, things like that. That is another tutorial I have on the channel as well. I will leave a link to that on how to create blog posts on Square. Um, that is another way that you can also improve your overall site SEO. Uh, as you can see here, just as a quick example from that tutorial is if you add a story to your uh, Square site, like uh, best canoes on the river. And then you mention some products, maybe write an actual detailed article. Again, this doesn't help as much as it once did in terms of Google and optimization, but it can help you a little bit in terms of maybe if you write some uh, additional information here about your business, maybe creating some additional about pages. Uh, it can also genuinely improve your overall search engine rankings and give Google a little bit more clarity as to what your site is all about and maybe some additional information as well about uh, what your brand business is about and what categories that you would uh, really want to represent your business as in the marketplace. Um, so by doing that, that can also help improve your overall SEO. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this quick and uh, SEO 101 video helpful within Square. Again, it can be a little tricky getting to all the different settings here inside Square, but it's important that you go ahead and just add more descriptions and more detail to your products. And as you're building out your online store, use more descriptive words. Those are really the basics of SEO, add some more pages, link them together, uh, maybe create some blog posts that can also be helpful as well. Maybe do some additional PR to get links from other websites to link back to your website that can also help you as well. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you did, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.